Since the 70s, this four square mile swath of downtown has been a symbol of the city's urban blight. But for the people who live there, it's a neighborhood with codes and customs all its own. Welcome back to another episode of History Bodied. We focus on the most interesting questions and topics surrounding the world that we live in. Our thought provoking short documentaries will surely get you thinking, and you are coming back for more. In this video, we will be looking at the world known Skid Row of Los Angeles. Let's begin with today's video. Skid Row has existed for at least a century, but it wasn't until the 1970s that it became the sprawling city it is today, a forlorn stretch of tarps and tents and SRO hotels corralled into four square miles between 3rd Street to the north, 7th to the south, Alameda to the east, and Main Street to the west. In the ensuing decades, it has become the homeless capital of America, ringed by miles of new condos and skyscrapers. An estimated 2,800 unhoused people live here at any particular time, and thousands more trek here annually from across the country, undeterred by the occasional attempts to sweep them out. For most L. A. residents, Skid Row is a nuisance, a cautionary tale, or a shameful reminder of the city's callous indifference to its least fortunate citizens. But for the people who live here, it's also a community, one with its own peculiar set of leaders and laws and outlaws and hierarchies, enforced by people who are trying to make the best of a hellish reality that they're living. The term Skid Row or Skid Road, referring to an area of a city where people live who are on the skids, derives from a logging term. Loggers would transport their logs to a nearby river by sliding them down roads made from greased skids. Loggers who had accompanied the load to the bottom of the road would wait there for transportation back up the hill to the logging camp. By extension, the term began to be used for places where people with no money and nothing to do gathered, becoming the generic term in English-speaking North America for a depressed street in a city. At the end of the 19th century, several residential hotels opened in the area as it became home to a transient population of seasonal laborers. By the 1930s, Skid Row was home to as many as 10,000 homeless people, alcoholics, and others on the margins of society. It became an enclave of small hotels, movie theaters and cheap eateries that served transient workers in seasonal industries and nearby railroads. In June 1947, Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, Chief Clements B. Harl ordered what he called a blockade raid of the whole Skid Row area. Over 350 people were arrested. Assistant Chief Joseph Reed, who claimed that at least 50% of all the crime in Los Angeles originates in the Skid Row area, stated that there had been no strong-arm robberies on Skid Row as late as one week after the raid. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, many veterans of the Vietnam War found themselves drawn to Skid Row, due to the services and missions already in place there, and feeling outcast from other areas. Like those after World War II, many of them ended up on the streets. It was around this time that the demographics of Skid Row shifted from predominantly white and elderly to those here today. Skid Row is home to many artists. Due to its location bordering districts such as the Historic Corps and the Arts District, Skid Row often hosts events that cross neighborhood borders. In 2019, a performance group called the Los Angeles Poverty Department began providing artistic resources to Skid Row, primarily in the form of theater classes and performances. Los Angeles Times journalist Margaret Gray claimed that audience members somehow felt like part of a family when the performers were on stage and noted, while many charitable organizations focus on warehousing and policing homeless populations, LAPD attempts to remind them of their unique humanity, to empower them to take collective responsibility for their neighborhood and one another's health and safety. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video all about Skid Row of L. What do you think of Skid Row? Would you ever go and visit? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to History Body, so you never miss out on taking a trip back in time with us to the most fascinating moments in human history. Thanks for watching, see you again soon in another video.